Hello class, welcome to story time today. Um, I've got a couple of good ones to read today. One is familiar, one um, we've read things like it, but not quite this one yet. So I'm excited for both of our books. Let's start with Pace. Got my water, finding my tummy and my collarbone for our big deep breaths. Let's do cross crawl. I think today I will do mm, elbow to knee. I seem to like this one. And then ready for our pretzel move. Cross those feet. Hands thumbs down, cross them over, and turn them up. Big, big breaths. And uncross. Touch your fingertips together for your biggest and slowest breath. We are ready for our books. Our first one is, How Do Dinosaurs Say I'm Mad? by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. And I know we've read this one before, but it's such a good one, I wanted to read it again. Look at all those angry dinosaurs. How do dinosaurs say I'm mad? That looks like a loud dinosaur. How does a dinosaur act when he's mad? Does he roar, slam the door, yell at mom or at dad? When he can't get his way, does he boast, I'll be bad? Is that what dinosaurs say when they're mad? When Papa says no, does he grumble and pout? When Mama says no, does he throw toys about? When he's told to sit still, does he kick at a chair? Does he act as if mother and father aren't there? When he hears, take a nap, does he give dirty looks? When he's told, quiet down, does he rip up his books? No cookies today? Fling a mug at the cat. Time for bed. Does he bang on the floor with his bat? <clears throat> no. A dinosaur doesn't. He counts up to 10, then after a timeout, breathes, cal breathes calmly, and then he cleans up his mess and he picks up the mug. He says, I'm so sorry. He gives a big hug. His anger is gone, so he opens the door. Not mad, I'm so glad, little dinosaur. <clears throat> I love how they call them little dinosaurs when they're so big. And our next book, excuse me, <clears throat> is one, it's one of our old lady books. There was an old lady 
Who Swallowed a Shell. This one's by Lucy Calandro and illustrated by Jared Lee. What do you think is going to happen when she swallows a shell? There was an old lady who swallowed a shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a crab. Why did she grab that crawling crab? She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was this, an old lady who swallowed a fish. What a tickly dish, that swimming fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a gull. I mean seagull. It, was, it wasn't dull to swallow a gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a pail. She didn't wail when she swallowed the pail. She swallowed the pail to carry the gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some sand. Oh, how bland to swallow sand. She swallowed the sand to fill up the pail. She swallowed the pail to carry the gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. But I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a wave. Swallowing a wave was such a big hassle that she suddenly burped. Do you see everything come back out? And built a sand castle. See all of the things she swallowed? They're all there, aren't they? The shell, the crab, the fish, the gull, the pail, the sand, and the wave. That one reminds me of the Swallowed a Snow book, isn't it? Where she hiccuped and built a snowman. And this one, she burps and builds a sand castle. Thanks for joining me for story time. I hope you have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow.